Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I got a brand new radio. Matter of fact, this radio hasn't even been released yet. The uh, nice people at Iron Snow sent me this radio to review, and it will be available uh, November 1st and November 3rd that time frame in the Amazon store. Um, I will put some links, one for the U.S. store and one for the Canadian store, which you can see it and, and read the ad, but you can't purchase it yet. It's not available for purchasing. The price in the United States will be $19.95, and I think it's uh, $24.95 in Canada. I think that's correct. Anyway, here it is. Uh, Iron Snow makes a lot of um, emergency crank radios. And I've reviewed two of them already, and then they sent me this one as an advanced copy. And uh, we're going to check it out right now. So let's get it out of the box. Comes with a charging cord. And there comes the radio. And then there's the manual. I put, it, I put the manual in and out of the box a few times, so I've kind of got it messed up. And we'll take the radio out of the packing here. And there it is. AM, FM, and weather band. Has solar charging. Has a nice bright, I mean this thing is really bright light. Has a crank charging. There's the antenna for FM and weather band. Over here is uh, hidden behind this little flap here is the connectors for your earbuds for the charging point to point to charge the internal battery and the USB output to charge a cell phone or some other device which this cable does both of those jobs so we put that back on here it has on the bottom it has the battery compartment right there and as you can see, this is one of those huge 3.7-volt uh, batteries, which is getting pretty common nowadays because they have a lot of capacity. And it's the 18650 battery, rechargeable battery. Okay. Put this back on. And so I have, um, I have charged that battery, fully charged that battery using uh, USB charger. I didn't use my computer because my charger will charge a little faster than my computer will. So I got it fully charged up. The knobs on the front, this is the on-off volume. This is the band select, and I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus. You stupid camera. I came down, <laughs> I came down here to use my better camera and the stupid thing won't focus. Maybe I'm too close. Anyway, uh, so you got weather band, FM, and AM. That's a little slide job we do. And then this is the tuning knob, direct tuning. And, of course, this is the analog dial with FM on the top, AM on the middle, and the weather band on the bottom scale. Uh, that's about it. It's got a short antenna because it's a pretty short radio. Um, I would say about a 12 inches, pretty short. Put that down temporarily. I will be doing a um, discharge test, and I'll, I'll completely recharge it after this show, and then I'll turn it on and let it play until it shuts off. And I think what I'll do is. I think I will also turn the light on and the radio on because I think with that battery in the bottom there, it's going to last a long time. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do one with just the radio on and one with both on. We'll see. Uh, and then I will also do my infamous crank test where I totally discharge the radio and then I crank for one minute I rest my hands for one minute, I crank for another minute, and I do this for a total of five cranks 
and then I number one see if the radio is going to work, which I'm sure it will, and then I let it play radio only and see how long it plays with that five minute only crank. As you said, scenes from previous, previous, <laughs> pro, yeah, previous Iron Snow radios. Uh, that five minute crank lasts a long time. And then we'll try to do a solar test. Again, discharge the radio, put this in my window um, upstairs where it gets indirect sunlight so it doesn't heat up the radio. It's probably going to get a little better sunlight now that it's getting into the wintertime where the sun is going down on the horizon. And I'll do that test and then see how long it'll play. Okay, I think that's about covers all the features. Now let's listen to the radio for a few minutes and try not to play any music. Uh, I'm going to go to the weather band. I'm on the weather band and I'm going to extend the little telescopic antenna. And reception down here in my workshop is a little better than up in my office. I only have, I actually only have one computer on right at the moment. I don't have any routers or anything like that. I, the computer that's on is Wi-Fi, so I got that going. Got some fluorescent lights on. Other than that, not too bad. So we'll see how we do. Turn the volume on. Okay, before I uh, before I talk about that, let me just show you some indicators here. The four indicators there on the left tell you the condition of the battery, so it's fully charged. And the little green one, and why on my camera focus? The little green one there tells you whether it's tuned into the station. Okay, let's turn the volume back up. If you become caught in the red current, yell for help. Remain calm. Do not exhaust yourself and stay afloat while waiting for help. If you have to swim out okay, of Okay, that's current, obviously the, the uh, NOAA weather station. Now, I can get... If all conditions are great and I'm using an outside antenna, which is, you know, 15, 20 feet in the air, I can get four stations. And the uh, NOAA weather stations are east of me, a little, a little southeast of me, about 30 miles line of sight, I'm guessing. So I got pretty good coverage. Now let's see how many we can get here. This is now at the right here on the band. See it right there, that white dot? It's right there on the band. And of course, my camera won't focus. We have to do this show over just because I can't get the camera. To I don't know why it won't. Let me, I'm on manual focus. Let me see what if I do if I try to man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't like to use automatic focus because it's always chasing me as I move. So now we got um, manual focus and I readjust the focus. You can actually see what's on the face of this radio. Great job, Tom. Okay, now we're down here. It's probably at like 6250 uh, maybe. And let's see how many we can get. Let me see if I can hold this and tune it. Turn the volume back up. Now I got the... Hush for a minute. Hush for a minute. Hush. I got the antenna kind of laying on its side because of the way I'm holding it for the camera. Here we go. So the antenna should be... Let me see if I can... Yeah, the antenna does swivel. All right. So now I got the antenna almost vertical. And we'll turn the volume back up. Okay, let's see if we can tune it. Okay, you can see the green light went out. It's trying to get one right there. Nope, can't get it. Nope. So, so far I've only gotten one of the possible three or four. But that one came in clear. 
Loud and clear. That's it again. The there we go. Now that one's really booming in. And the relative humidity 68%. The wind was northwest at 8 miles an hour. Okay, that's probably at 6, 162.55, and that's the sh strongest station I have. And it's coming in loud and clear. I turned it down so loud. Okay, so that's working good. Uh, I could say, only time I've gotten 3 or 4 was using an outside external antenna, uh, at least 15 feet in the air. So, this is just this little 12 inch antenna. All right, let's go to AM. That's usually pretty safe. Turn the volume up. And then we'll see what we can find. Let me get up here so it's kind of a little bit in focus. There we go. Spanish station. Tune some more. And we'll see Whoa. For Russ Evans, the North Shore. Okay. That must be, let's see, this is, uh, that's, it's like 1.30 a.m. The there we go. Here is yet another see, did you see that the green light was blinking first until I got it completely tuned in? Okay. There's another station. Another one. Another one. Another one. Whoops. Went past that. Keep him at the place where the party was being held to cool down. Another one. Another one. Okay, you get the idea because I got a lot of stations nearby, so uh, we're not going to dwell on that for very long. Uh, uh, I'll try to carefully just tune FM and not get any music. If I go down to the end of the band, lower part of the band, it's usually um, talk or sports. So let's see what we get. Turn the volume back up. Tune it. Yeah. Whoa, that's music though. Whoa, oh, no. oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, uh, we can get plenty of FM stations, you got to stay away from that music. All right, pretty neat little radio. I want to thank uh, the people at Iron Snow for sending me these radios for a review. I'll give you another close-up here, try to hold it steady. Let's just see around it. Oh, let me try the uh, flashlight, I hope I don't burn out my camera. Okay, stand by. Here we go. Flashlight time. Oh, yeah, that's bright. And I got a lot of lights on in here, so that is bright, bright, bright. One, one LED. There's the crank. Right there. See how hard it is to turn? See if I can find... One of the problems on some of these crank radios is getting a good grip. Okay, and that's because of the design of this case, I can get a good grip on it. Oh, as usual, really tough to turn. These crank radios, if the dynamo, this is just something I've observed, whether it's fact or not, if the dyno is working good, it's hard to crank. I've had some real inexpensive crank radios that just, you know, like they never charged. So I don't even know if they even have inside the mechanism is maybe just a crank on the outside. And of course it wouldn't charge the, the radio. So that's working good. There we go, that tucks away. It does have this little um, handle. I forgot what you call these, lanyard. It's gonna have a lanyard, which you can easily take off. Cause I don't like these lanyards just like two hands in a radio. I don't like them either. So uh, I usually take them off and put them back in the box and never take them out again. So that's it.
Again, let me show the battery compartment one more time now that I've found the focal point of my camera. Here it is. It's one of those big 18650 batteries that last a long time. I've had many of the radios nowadays are using these things because they are a powerhouse. Okay. Put that back on there. And I'll show you the charging ports, I mean the ports one more time. In focus. Full size USB out for charging your cell phone. A micro USB in for charging that battery. And the headphones jack. I don't know, I just it just dawned on me, I don't know if the, uh, the headphones jack is providing stereo or not. I'll... Uh, I'll find out from the seller and uh, post it down in the description. Also, what I will do is I will post down in the description. He sent me two links, one to the Amazon store in the United States and one to the Amazon store in Canada, which the links work right now. But when you go there, it says currently not available. As I said at the beginning of the show, this will be available somewhere around November 1st to November 3rd. In the United States, they will sell for $19.95. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a hand. I think uh, one of these things up. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye. I got to turn the air fans back on. It's getting warm in here in a hurry.